Carla. Um, I welcome this bill uh, as obviously it will enable the CCPC to operate more effectively. Indeed, it should provide the necessary long-awaited powers to tackle a wide range of white-collar crimes. I really do welcome it. As somebody I suppose, who sat on the Finance Committee and went through the different scrutiny of insurance prices and what was happening in the market there and the protection of the raw data and how things were used um, against the consumer and against those who are fleeced with insurance costs, how that was used. And I think this bill is a good beginning and this bill at least will go some ways uh, towards, towards tackling that. So I think ev every one of us who buy insurance uh, will welcome this. The aggregate uh, economic and social cost of the anti-competitive practices in this state has cost us very dearly. And the victims of breaches of competition laws such as cartels, bid rigging and abusive market practices uh, have all paid the price. And we have paid the price um, economically as a, as a state as well. Even if we look back at 2007, I think it was uh, estimated there by Robinson and Rhodes that it was costing the state two and a half billion. So it can be many, much more than that as it is now. That's two and a half billion that could go into different things in this state. We squabble over pennies. And what really, I suppose, annoys me is I see things like who we go after in this state. We go after the dead. We go after the dead pensioner who hasn't, who's forgot to tick a box and who has somehow um, been overpaid a small pension or something like that. We follow them beyond the grave and yet we ignore so much white collar crime. And I think that brings it, this bill and discussing this bill brings, us, brings that to the fourth here. Our National Competition Authority must have appropriate powers of enforcement and adequate resources to be able to tack, uh, tackle uh, these economic crimes. For far too long, we've been an outlier in the EU in comparison with other uh, EU states. But reaching a criminal record in a court of law, we know it can take too long. We also know that it puts justice out of reach of too many victims of white collar crimes. Um, so that will, this bill will go some ways uh, towards addressing some of that. We also saw in, in, in agriculture we see in terms of the prices there and, and the queries and the really legitimate concerns that have been raised for so long around price fixing um, in the agricultural sector. So I hope that this bill will serve to, uh, to address uh, some of that. Um, the only pity is that it wasn't brought in years ago, that it's only coming to the floor of the House. But I welcome it and I look forward to it uh, being in, in law as quickly as possible.